Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. I'd like to turn the focus back to our children. You know, my husband and I have five. Our, uh, our oldest is 27, our youngest is six. And over the years, I've noticed how technology has been increasingly designed to capture their attention. The more time my first grader spends scrolling through an app, the less time she is playing outside or enjoying face-to-face -face interactions with us. Google and Facebook are no, not only doing a poor job of keeping our children under 13 off of YouTube and Instagram, as my colleagues have already mentioned today, but you are actively onboarding our children onto your ecosystems with apps like YouTube Kids, Facebook Messenger Kids, and now we're hearing Instagram for kids. These applications introduce our children to social media far too early and include manipulative design features intended to keep them hooked. Mr. Pichai, when a child finishes a video on YouTube or YouTube Kids, does the next video automatically play by default? And I think this one is a yes or no. Sorry, I was muted. Uh, Congresswoman, I have children too. I worry about the time they spend online and I agree with you, it's an important issue. Yes. We yes. design the YouTube. Play, the autoplay function by default, that's a yes. On the main app, uh, it yes. is there, and for each video, there's an easy on-off toggle. Users yes. have preferences. But the, the, def the default setting is yes. Um, when a user who is predicted to be a teen is watching a YouTube video, are the number of likes displayed by default? Yes or no, please. Uh, on all videos, I think we do have, uh, across yes. all videos, we have. Great. And Mr. Zuckerberg, Will the recently uh, reported Instagram app for kids have endless scroll enabled? Yes or no? Sorry, uh, Congresswoman, we, we are not done finalizing what the app is going to be. I think we're actually still pretty early in designing this. But you know, I, I, I just want to say that are you not are you not sure, or you're not sharing features? Um, because or uh, and look, another feature of concern is the filter that adds an unnatural but perfect glow for my 10-year-old to apply to her face. Is that feature going to be part of Instagram for Kids? Congresswoman, I, I don't know. I haven't discussed this with the team yet. Well, um, you know, I, uh, look, I please expect my office and many others to follow up. Given what we know about Instagram's impact on teen mental health, we, you know, we're all very concerned about our our younger children. And, you know, just, uh, I just wanna speak mother to father for a moment, fathers, uh, because leading experts all acknowledge that social media sites pose risks to young people, inappropriate content, oversharing of personal information, cyberbullying, deceptive advertising, the list goes on. And those risks are exacerbated with more time uh, children spend in these apps. And Mr. Pachai, you mentioned that you have children uh, and that I've also read you limit their screen time. Uh, what do you say when one of your children doesn't want to put their phone down? Uh, Congressman, uh, the struggle is the same, uh, particularly through COVID. Uh, it's, been, it's been hard to moderate it. And I do take advantage of the parental controls and the digital well-being tools we can limit the time on their apps, and so we have provisions in place. Uh, I don't mean I don't mean to cut you off, Mr. Pichai. You know, but the last thing overworked parents need right now, especially right now, are more complex to dos, which is what parental controls are. I mean, they need child centric design by default. Uh, Mr. Zuckerberg, I understand your children are younger, but when they start using social media, what will you say when they're craving their tablet over spending time face to face with you or with friends? Well, Congresswoman, we haven't gotten to that point yet, but we're designing all of these tools. We design messenger kids that the parents are in control. I think we've proven that that can be a good and safe experience. And I think that was one of the things that that made us think that uh, we should consider doing this for Instagram as well by having it so that um, we have a parent controlled experience um, and as you sure. say, child centric I'm experience I'm, for people I'm under the age of 13. I'm, I am going to reclaim my time only because connecting with others uh, is one thing. Adding filters, no breaks for uh, for kids to take um, and you know, manipulating the design of these apps for our children is is another. Look, this committee is ready to legislate to protect our children from your ambition. You know, what we're having a hard time reconciling is that while you're publicly calling for regulation, which 
by the way, comes off as incredibly decent and noble, you're plotting your next frontier of growth, which deviously targets our young children and which you all take great, sti great strides with infinite, infinitely more resources in protecting your own children. This playbook is familiar. As some of my colleagues have already pointed out, it's the same tactic we saw from alcohol companies and big tobacco. Start them young and bank on them never leaving, or at least never being able to. But these are our children, and their health and well-being deserve to take priority over your profits. General Lady's time has expired.